Hey, Joe Gilder here. Here's a fun one. Got a question on a recent video that I did about how to create a pattern in Studio One. The pattern is like basically like a grid drum machine thing for creating drum loops, either as a production thing or maybe just to create a loop to play along to. A little more interesting than a click track. Got this question on that video. It says, is it possible to create a beat in 7-4 or in 3-4? The pattern seems to be blocked at 16 steps or multiples of 4. First things first, there are two T's in the word pattern. Secondly, let's find out. This is actually really interesting to me. So let me just recap. How do we create a pattern? We got a Im instance of impact here with some sounds. Great. Let's click over here. Let's go to the beginning of the song. I press comma, by the way, to get it all the way back at the beginning. And let's do shift command P to insert a pattern. And that creates this thing. If I double click on it, check it out. Here is our beautiful, beautiful pattern. And if we want to do like a four on the floor kick drum, we just select kick and we hit that button. Now we got ourselves a very fast tempo, but that's our, it's at 182. Let's go down to like 120, the default tempo of everything. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Great. Wonderful. If that's not quite enough, we can add in like uh, some claps on the two and four, because why not? And we can give ourselves a little hi-hat on the eighth notes. And now we've got ourselves a dance beat. So the question is, what about 7-4? Well, the thing you're asking is, yes, you can do anything. <laughs> you can do anything in Studio One. You can create a song in 7-4. You can create sections of your song in 7-4. You have to adjust the time signature of Studio One itself first. That's the, that's the correct answer. So the way you do that is a couple ways, of course, because you can do things multiple ways in Studio One. If you click here on this little button there, and you go and make sure that is checked. So if there's nothing showing up here, you can go here to show your markers, by the way. We can go here to show our tempo. Let's get rid of markers and put the tempo there. We can see the tempo here, and we can change the tempo throughout the song. So if this is one of those things where you've got like a section that's in seven and the rest is in four, you would change it here. So we would move this marker to say here, and we want to change the tempo there. We can kind of double click right there, or no, we hit the plus sign here, insert, time signature, boom, a window pops up, and we can change it to 7-4 or 7-8 if you want. Um, and now the song changes from being in 4-4 four, four here to being in 7-4 there. So what happens when I extend this out another measure? Uh, does it change the pattern? What happens here? No. It's exactly, exactly, exactly the same. So what do we do? What if we want to do a pattern in 7-4? Well, maybe if we insert a new pattern here, will that do the trick? Insert new pattern, double click on it. What happens down here? Well, if we look, it looks very similar, right? It's still 16 steps. It's still showing me 16, 16th note. So each step is a 16th note, and it still goes... All, so here, the steps thing tells me it goes to 16. Well, what can I do here? Well, I can change it to like 8. It's still 16th note resolution. This just turns around the beat, turns the beat around faster. Turns the beat around. So then if I, if I come up here and do 4 on the floor here. So all it's doing, by the way, let's mark this and loop this section, is the pattern will itself repeat no matter what the length is. So if it's this, if it's, I mean, we could make it a four step repeat and could just be like, just be this. So snare, it could be like this. I remember when, that's how that song starts. Anyway, um, that's probably not what you want. A lot of times 16 is great. If you want more variation, right, it kind of goes in A section and a B section. There's a couple ways you can do that. You can change the variation, have a bunch of different patterns here, or you could feasibly make this like a 32, shut up. You can make this a 32 section long, 32 step sequencer. It's still the same tempo, but you could change it up so the second half could be different from the first half. You have some options for variation there. None of these address the question of, well, this song is in seven. I want it to be in seven. Well, how do we do that? Let's say we do want to keep it in seven, four. Seven measures of four. If we want to have four 
kind of subdivisions here like we do here with 16th notes, then that means 7 times 4 is 28. So all we have to do is pull the drop down and choose 28. Wait, there is no 28. Well, guess what? Studio One lets you do whatever you want. Just click on the number and type 28. So now we get this. Well, let's go there. So now we have four on the floor in seven, four. So we could go snares here, 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 and it goes like this. Now that's counting in seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. We've now created it. Now, you may think, Joe, that sucks that I change it to seven, four, and this step sequencer does not change. I would agree. You could maybe make a case for have this be a multiple of whatever the tempo is. So whatever the, whatever the top number is, if we're in something over four, default by making this number that number times four. So when it was four, four, it was 16. When it's seven, four, make it 28. Sure, but we can change it here pretty easily as well. We can even, I did this, I was working on this before I started shooting the video. I'm gonna see if I can create, one of my favorite like weird tempo songs is 15 Step by Radiohead. If you're not familiar with it, it's basically, let's delete these, it's in 15 steps. So it's technically in five, four. So let's change this tempo or this time signature to 5-4. And so the 15 steps happen across three measures. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. So I have three measures of 5-4 to give me the 15 steps of that sequence. And the tempo is pretty quick. So it's, how can I end up where I started? So I'm going to click that tempo here on this tempo thing here. So about 183 sounds good. So now I can insert a pattern here, but it only gives me for one bar. Let's make it go for three bars. And then let's come here and we're in five four now. And I really just want it subdivided twice. I just want the do, 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 do. That's the tempo, and I want it double time. So, do, 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 do. So, I need five subdivided once is 10. So, let's make the steps 10. So, then we can go, let's do, uh, this is actually really fun. Let's just hit play. I'm going to let it loop here. All right. So, the loop is. Dun, 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 dun. So let's do uh, let's get a hi hat first just to get the boom 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 Actually, I just want this to be, oh, it's I want eighth notes is what I want. That was the difference. So that should be, yeah, that's it. So if I want to do this double time here. Now, here's a really, really cool feature in, in this, uh, this. I did not mean for this to go here, but now I'm trying to kind of recreate that drum loop there. The first thing is it doesn't have a consistent dit, 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 hi-hat beat. It's kind of random. So we can come here, select the hi-hat, click on this thing to pop up this menu, and then check the probability tab and set the probability of this to something like 60% or so across these beats. So then just by changing that, the hi-hat is now playing randomly. Already kind of sounds like the song. Then get a clap in here in a couple spots. So boom, chica, dun dun. So 
So that's that that's that's that song. So the guitar goes boom dum 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 Used to be alright. What happened? Not, probably not supposed to be singing that song here on the channel, but who cares? That's how you do a weird offbeat thing. You got to be a little more custom because standard thing, right? Everybody does a song in 4-4, four, four, so it kind of defaults to 4-4. Four, four. So when you want to shake things up, do a song in 5-4 with subdivisions of eighth notes instead of 16s, and you want 10 steps per loop of the beat. You can do all of that. You just got to think through it a little bit and then kind of t tinker with it a bit. But then between that and the randomizing and the probability, it gets really, really fun. So go write a weird song that goes into 5-4 and see what happens. Don't be too weird with it. Keep it fun. Keep it listenable. But that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. See ya.